Good morning, traders. It is Friday, June 10th, the last trading day of the week. Let's get going. Let's take a look at the last pick. I recorded my video and posted it before the open on Wednesday, two days ago. My pick of the day was BABA. -B -A. That was an incredible pick. Look at the stock opened around $108, rallied all the way up to $122. That was more than a $12 winner in one day. If you get a gain like that and you get a sustained move like that in a market like this, take your gains. That's as good as it's going to get because the market is currently chopping around up one day, down the next. You've got to be in. You've got to be out. This is a very difficult swing trading environment. So BABA, -B -A, awesome pick. So let's see if we can find something that lines up well for today. First, we have to take a look at the market, so let me take a quick break. So you can see how we had this compression. And when you talk about up one day and down the next, up, down, up, down, up, down, you don't know what's going to happen on a swing trading basis. You can see the same pattern back in here. Choppy, choppy trading. We've got the FOMC statement next week. So... In all likelihood, market's going to be waiting for that FOMC statement. We did have a hot CPI number that came out this morning. S&P futures currently down about 36 points on that number. You can see a defined horizontal support level right in here. The market was bouncing off that support level. It comes into play at 407.50. And I believe I referenced this last Wednesday. Touch, 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 touch. Lots of touches in here. That is a significant horizontal support level and when it's breached it's significant. So we have to respect that and we have to assume that the market's going to continue to go down. Again right now we have the S&P futures down an additional three points so we're going to be opening somewhere in this level right here not too far from the low. So, nervousness ahead of next week's FOMC statement. Yesterday, the ECB said that they are going to be reducing their balance sheet. They are preparing for a 0.25% interest rate hike in July. So, higher interest rates globally, not good for equities. Now, yes, it's going to be important to wait for these numbers, but what asset managers are really waiting for is to see how those interest rate hikes are impacting economic growth. That's going to take three or four months to play out. I think we're going to continue to chop around between now and late September, just trying to see what these interest rates are doing to the economic growth picture. So we're going to be back and forth. I don't see a lot of pace to the market. The bias is certainly to the downside, and you can see that here. So that's how I'm going to be positioning myself today. I'm looking for additional selling pressure. Now, in four months' time, let's say that the jobs numbers continue to be relatively strong, the ISM numbers are good, the inflation forecasts are starting to subside, then the market's going to be forward-looking, and we could see a nice fall rally. That's one scenario that could play out. We don't know how this is going to play out, so we have to patiently wait. Another scenario is that while we're waiting, the jobs reports start to deteriorate. The ISM numbers start to deteriorate. We're seeing some weakness in China. They're shutting down because of COVID. So there are reasons to believe that the economy could slow down. If that starts to happen while we wait, these higher interest rates are not going to be well received and we're going to see some technical breakdowns. So right now we have to go by what we have, which is showing us clear downward bias. We have a breach of horizontal support yesterday. Let's go into that five minute chart. Let's talk a little bit about day trading. When you open and you've got your first hour range established and the market spends the rest of the day in that first hour range, that is a sign that you should keep your trading to a minimum. Look at the horrible, horrible volume. Nothing going on. Mixed green and red candles with overlap. We are not going anywhere fast. 
So you should keep your trading to an absolute minimum when you start to see this setup. And you didn't have to wait three hours to determine this. Once you had your high and your low and you started seeing all these mixed candles in here, you're already on high alert since the volume is so low. And you can see on a daily chart that we're trapped in a compression. So if you're hemorrhaging money right now because the market's all over the place, stop trading. It's a low probability trading environment. Critically important for you to be ident able to identify when you should be trading and when you should not be trading. It's a huge part of trading. So as the day unfolds, you can see that we had a bullish cycle right here on 1OP. There's your bullish cross, but the market didn't do anything. It couldn't get off the deck. Did I know that we were going to have a breakdown? Well, when you get buyers stacked up at a particular price level, bye, 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 bye. Now, all of a sudden, they are vulnerable to a drop because that is going to trigger sell stops. If you're a buyer here, 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 where are you going to have your sell stop? Probably just below the low of the day. So when you get this breakdown over here, you still don't know. So if you weren't short in here, which this would be a nice place to short on that bearish cross, because then you've got kind of a full head of steam going into the low of the day, and you can weather some of the storm and some of the bounce if you do get that bounce. But if you did not short up here and you want to short here, you have to patiently wait for that breakdown because this could result in a bullish engulfing candle that, boom, completely erases this and then off to the races, short covering rally. Given this type of price action, that was a very possible scenario. But in this case, you see the breakdown and now drip, 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 we get the follow through. So now you know that this move lower was not just to trigger sell stops. It is legitimate. And as soon as we started to drift lower, well, this is when the sell programs start to kick in. Then the bottom drops out and the bid dries up. So light volume, yes, programs are going to have a big impact once that momentum is established. You want to get behind it. Today, S&P futures down about 40 points on the open. You need to tread cautiously. Wait for the market action to unfold. No FOMO here. You do not have to rush in and worry that you're going to miss fantastic shorts because the bottom of the market's going to drop out. You can expect choppy price action back and forth and typically these cpi numbers they come out hot market absolutely has no reaction this morning we are actually getting a reaction from it but i suspect that part of that is because of the ecb announcement yesterday part of it is because we broke technical support so yes we are getting some follow-through selling i am going to be looking for a short this morning so i'm going to be going into my lists i'm going to go right to pop plus bear and we're going to take a look at some of these stocks in here. Pop Bear would also be a very good list to use. If I click through this, you'd see lots of fantastic shorts. These are all breakdowns on heavy volume. X is one that stood out to me. Look at that selling right in there. Go to the daily chart. Horizontal support breached. Which, by the way, when... I see trades that are posted in the chat room. I'll often see traders. They just they get tunnel vision. It's like, oh my God, it's Apple. I've got to trade Apple. Oh, it's Tesla. I got to trade Tesla. Whatever the stock of the day is, people just, they start trading one particular name. But you have perhaps a candle like right in here. Or, there's nothing. There's no breakdown in here. You need to have breakdowns and you need to have heavy volume. Once you start clearing the path, now you've got clear skies ahead or below. In this case, you have no support levels, so you can just free fall. You want to clear out those support levels. That's critically important to be able to do that. So look for these patterns. Look for those breakdowns. Those are going to be your best plays. X, 
yeah, has plenty of room to go on the downside. So I'm going to click through a few of these. Zim, that's the stock I highlighted yesterday. You can see upward sloping trend line, breach to the downside, beautiful follow through. Heavy volume, technical breakdown, relative strength weakness, heavy volume. Those are your key ingredients. So those are what you need to be watching for. I'm going to go into Pop Bear. We're going to click through some of these stocks very quickly. Look at that daily chart. Now, this is compressing on horizontal support, so not a favorite. I want something that's got some room. Horizontal support, not a favorite. UPS, I like this. Upward sloping trend line, breach to the downside. Yes, room to go. UPS could be my bearish pick of the day. Just going to continue to click through. If I see horizontal support, I'm not as interested because I want to have that room to go lower. All I'm doing is clicking. Yes, this is already broken, so this has some more room to the downside. And that's how we do it. Right now, UPS is one of the better stocks that I'm seeing. MOS is nice, upward sloping trend line, although it is very small. Horizontal support, let's call it that. Nice breakdown there. Put up your major moving averages, 200, 150 day. Those are also going to be nice gauges. Broken through technical support. MOS could easily be my short of the day. Upward sloping trend line. You can see there's your bearish flagpole. This is a bearish flag formation. Below the 200 day moving average, CL. F. Yes, I like CLF on the short side. So I got a decision to make. UPS, MOS, CLF. I'm going to pick CLF as my short of the day. There's your upward sloping trend line. There's your breakdown, horizontal support. Also being tested here yesterday. So what do I do today? S&P futures currently down 30 points. Do I rush in? Do I short CLF instantly on the open? No, there's no reason for you to do that. You have to wait to see what the market does. Maybe the market's going to bounce this morning. So on those bounces, what you'll be wanting to see is that CLF can't get off the deck. So CLF opens on its low. Market, rally, 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 rally. CLF, not participating. When you see that pattern, then you know that sellers are very, very aggressive. They want to unload those shares. And that is why the stock is not able to bounce. As the market starts to roll over and sell off, guess what's going to be leading the charge? Stocks like CLF that could not get off the deck because the sellers are going to get more and more aggressive and the buyers are going to pull their bids. That's how all of this works. So CLF is your pick of the day, but I did see a couple of others. Wait to see what the market's doing. You don't need to trade anything in the first half hour or first 45 minutes. You want to see that market bounce because that market bounce is going to tell you what type of selling pressure you can expect in the underlying stock as the market rallies the stock could rally just a little bit and when it finally rolls over you'll have that market tailwind because then it will be poised to move lower and you'll know that the selling pressure is in the stock when i do my next video i'm quite confident that clf is going to be trading below twenty dollars and sixty three cents good luck with your trading everyone we'll see you in a few days Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm Pete Stolzers and I'm going to keep the trade ideas coming along with lots of education. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and please turn on your notifications so that you never miss another trade. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. I've loaded two other videos that I think you're really going to enjoy. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.